Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Sony RX100V and Panasonic LX100. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Sony RX100V and the Panasonic LX100 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 6th of October 2016 and the 15th of September 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Sony RX100V. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Panasonic LX100. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Sony RX100V and the Panasonic LX100. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Sony RX100V. And here are some sample photos from the Panasonic LX100. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Sony RX100V. I've been using this camera for 10 months now, and I primarily use it for shooting videos while backpacking. The 4K image quality is excellent, and the manual controls are a plus. The battery life is good for my needs, and the size and build quality are also great. However, I have experienced some issues with the screen and the battery door, which are important to be aware of. The EVF could be better, and the battery life for certain recording modes is disappointing. Overall, it's a solid camera for my needs but has some drawbacks to consider. I have been a professional photographer for over 25 years, and I recently replaced my Nikon P7800 with the Sony RX100 MK5 for street photography. At first, I was hesitant due to its small size and complicated menu, but after customizing it and getting used to it, I was impressed with the image quality. However, the camera has its drawbacks, such as poor battery life, difficulty holding it for long periods, and a high price. Overall, it meets my needs for street photography with its fast focus, FPS, and high-quality imagery. Here's what people have to say about the Panasonic LX100. I bought the camera as a backup to my DSLR and have been very pleased with its performance. The physical size is manageable, and the controls are easy to use. The image quality is very good and the camera has been reliable with no unexpected problems. The only issue I've noticed is slight overexposure, but it's easily corrected in post-processing. Overall, I'm ha I was pleasantly surprised by the quality of this mirrorless camera, especially compared to my older DSLRs. The lens quality is top-notch, and the low-light performance is impressive. It's not very pocketable, but it's one of the smallest cameras with a micro four-thirds sensor. The lack of a pop-up flash was a concern, but I rarely need it. The auto ISO in manual mode works fine, but I wish I could adjust flash exposure compensation. The focus is quick, but it misses on macro shots. The GPS logging function with the Android app is easy to sync, and the battery life is great. Unfortunately, I had some issues with stuck pixels, and I wish it had more megapixels for better cropping. Overall, it's a solid camera that could easily replace my DSLRs for close distances and indoor use. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Sony RX100V. 
We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Panasonic LX100. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10.